making his union debut, Michael Uwa, the Danish striker. So, Michael, you've only been in the country and with the team a short time, but how have you and your family settled in life in Philadelphia? I think we've settled in quite well. Uh, the, the guys in the club, the trainers, coaches, staff, everything, they've given me a, a warm welcome and yeah, we found a, found a nice place to live, so, so everything's good and the, the baby's starting to sleep through the night, so that's, uh, that's a major plus. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's been really well up until now. Uh, of course, we have to get used to the weather. It changes like crazy. Mm. First, it's really nice and then it's really, really cold. But uh, yeah, uh, we're, we're used to the cold in Denmark, but uh, hopefully it'll get a bit warmer soon. And when did you first learn of the union's interest and did it take much convincing for you to decide to come and join the team? Uh, I actually heard about it in, in January, like in the uh, around the 10th of January, I think. Uh, I know it didn't really take that much of convincing. I had a had an interesting Zoom call with uh, Ernst and Jim, and uh, after that, I was really really keen on going. So um, yeah, it didn't take that much of a convincing. Uh, of course, you had to to research a bit on the MLS. It's it's not easy to to watch the MLS. Uh, in Denmark because it's played in the middle of the night and as a, as a footballer you have to get your sleep. Um, but yeah, uh, I watched a few games, I watched some clips from, uh, from, from the last season of the Union and uh, yeah, I was, I was sold. And then you bounced around a bit between teams and then went on loan but really came into your own in 2020. What changed for you at that time? I think actually uh, Covid ended up being a, a nice touch for my football career. Uh, I think I got away from the game uh, a bit, cleared my head, uh, got a fresh start and I was like this time around it's going to be different and I really put in the work, and maybe maybe cleared my head a bit, started talking to um, a psychologist yeah. about everything and he really helped me a lot, uh, I, I can't thank him enough. Um, so yeah, I think I was maybe also being a bit more honest with myself about what I did good, what I did bad and when I needed to really step up my game. Uh, because of course you have periods going up and down where, where everything is, is sunny, everything is funny. But uh, yeah, times are also gonna be tough as a footballer. So you need a, a good, uh, what do you say, squad around you. Mm -hmm. uh, and I really have that. So that was something that really changed in, in COVID. So, so it was more about the, the mental side of the game, which, which can be obviously very, very testing when you're having the ups and downs. I don't know if it was only about the mental yeah. mental things, but it definitely was a big part of it. Uh, and of course, I, I started believing more in myself. And as a striker, you really need that mm. that confidence. Uh, it really helps you a lot. Um, so, yeah, it was. I think it was mostly that, but there was also different parts. Mm. And then every striker has their own particular skill set that they use to their advantage. What do you view as your biggest strength as a player? My speed and my timing. Yeah. See, one of the interesting things is, because obviously I've been to watch you train a few times, usually you see a big centre forward. It's like they're big, they're that focal point, they're the target man. Yeah. But you've got the height and you've also got the speed as well. So from your perspective, that enables you to do both things then, doesn't it? As in terms yeah. of stretching the game, but also coming short for the ball yeah, as well. Yeah, it does. Uh, I have a, I have a good combination of both things. Uh, but yeah, I would, I would mostly like to play it in behind because I know I'm, I'm quite fast, um, and I believe in myself again, as I said before. But yeah, I can do both, and that, yeah, it really helps me because in some games there won't be a lot of space in behind, and then you need to drop down a bit more. But yeah, I would always try to go for for going in behind if I can. As you prepare to make your home debut this weekend, what is your message to the fans who will be coming out to see you for the first time? Just that I'm looking forward to seeing them, finally playing for them. Uh, it's been a long wait. Uh, and yeah, hopefully we'll give them a, a good show on, uh, on Saturday.